Sorry, Papa people. I'm here to show you a few little basics about painting. So we do a lot of canvas painting in our classes and there are sometimes questions about how to use the brushes. So there's two kinds of brushes I'm going to talk about today. There's a pointed one and a straight one. So let's talk about the pointed one first. And we're going to use this just to do lines. So the things that we would probably do if we were doing a canvas painting would be maybe some outlining or we'd be filling in and we'll be tracing along a line. So let's start with how much paint we put on our brush. So when I dipped, I just dip right in the corner. I'm not going right in the center and swirling around. I'm just going in a, on the corner or the edge of the paint and just twirling my brush around to try to cover all of my brush. I don't want a giant glob of paint on there. Just a nice covering. If it's too much, you can always wipe it off. Now let's start with a straight line. I'm just gonna do a straight line up and down. Now I know I wanna go this direction with my line. So I don't wanna have my brush going like this perpendicular if I'm going this way. My line should be, my brush should be in the same direction of the line I'm going in. And I'm pulling it. That way you get nice crisp edges on the side because that is where the hairs of my brush are nice and smooth. Just to show you if I were to do it this way it's not as even because I'm going along this and there's really no edge on that side so this side is really kind of bumpy. Alright so I'm going back I'm getting more paint. Now let's see about doing a curve. It's the same thing if I want my curve is basically going in this direction then you also want to have your brush in that direction. Now another thing I want you to notice is that I have this part of my hand my by my pinky resting on the paper when I was doing this. That helps to keep the brush steady for you. If you hold it up in the air you're more likely to be jiggling your hand around and you won't have as much control. I'm going to get a little more paint. Now let's try making a circle. If you want to do a circle, I do not recommend you just start in the middle and then start scribbling until you make your circle. What I recommend you do is draw the circle and then fill it in. Now you could, if you want to, move your paper around to draw, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this all in one swoop. I'm probably going to run out of paint here. Oh. That way I get a smoother edge. This takes a little practice. So now I have the outline, then I fill it in. So if you're working on one of our canvas paintings and you need to fill in a space, I usually try to remind you guys to outline it and then fill it in and you get nice crisper edges. All right, so a few more things you can do with this kind of a brush is that you can do a thin line, a thick line, and you can do a line that is thick and thin together. So if I want to do thin, I'm not going to put a hardly any pressure, just the tip of my brush. If I want a thick line, push down on it and you get a nice thick line. I'm going to get a little more paint in my brush and let me show you how to do a thick and a thin. So it was all about how much you're pushing down on your brush. So I'm going to start off thin, then I push down, then I bring it up and then push it down 
and then bring it up. And then you get thick and thin. So this is a good brush for doing lines, curvy lines, getting into little areas, circles, things of natural form. This brush is good if we're going to be doing squares or we want to do things with sharp corners. So I'm done with this brush. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean it off. Always make sure your brush is nice and clean and you don't want, you don't want to let that paint to dry on there. So I'm just swirling around. Looks pretty clean. Take a little extra of that water off. And you want to give your hairbrush a nice sleek hairstyle and let it dry like this. And it's best if you can let it dry upward. Do not put it in a cup down this way because that will smush all of his little hairs on there. Right, so for this brush, same thing. I'm just going to go get some of my paint in the corner. Just enough to get it covered. So again, I'm going to pull my brush in the direction I want the line to go. Have a nice smooth edge. Now I have my brush. I changed the position of it because I want my line to go this way. So I start here, right here, and stop. This time my line is going to go this way. So you could do this shape with the other brush, but you want to get the same effect of these corners. This is just made much, uh, made so that it works much better with doing this kind of a shape. Now notice I changed the direction of my brush. Start here and pull it across. And if I wanted to, I could just fill it all in. So all of this I've been doing with a pretty good amount of paint on my brush. But there's another thing you can do is you can do dry brush. So I'm going to take extra paint off of my brush. So there's really just a tiny bit on there. And you can do this effect where it's almost like it looks like fur. And this you need to have hardly any paint on there. It looks almost like I'm cleaning my brush and I'm doing it in the direction I want my texture to go. And this is called dry brush. So that's really it for these kind of brushes. So don't forget once you're done, I'm going to clean this off. Sometimes I will push it up against the edge of my cup to get this part right here. Sometimes it's tough to get that out where it meets the metal. So I'm pushing against the side of my brush and get it all nice and clean. And then for this one, I'm going to wipe it down with my paper towel, smooth out my bristles so it has a nice hairstyle and then let it dry upward or on the side. Don't store it with the bristles down. That's it for our two brushes and different techniques to get the most out of your brushes and your painting. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't cover, you can put it in the chat and I'd be happy to answer you. All right guys, have fun painting.